Welcome to the Epic Flight Academy. This is the Private Pilot Ground School and my name is Mike Thompson. Now remember to be successful in this course, don't just watch these videos, you must watch these videos in parallel to Epic's online learning program and number three, be sure to review this material on the ground with your flight instructor. Today's topic are turning tendencies. Now, notice I didn't say left or right turning tendencies. I said turning tendencies. And there are four of them. In this session, let's just review the first two. The first two are torque and asymmetrical thrust. Let's talk about torque. What is that? Torque is a rotational movement or a rotational moment. Now, in this diagram, you can see it's depicting the engine turning in one direction when we sit behind the engine in the cockpit and look forward in most conventional general aviation aircraft that is a clockwise rotation of the propeller from my view in the cockpit. My engine weighs, I don't know, 250 to 350 pounds and at full power is running, what, 2600, 2700, 2750 RPM. So it's a relatively small weight, 300 pounds, turning at a relatively high speed, 2700 rotations per minute. Now, the aircraft that it is mounted to is going to want to have an equal and opposite reaction. So if the propeller is rotating clockwise from my view as a pilot, the aircraft is going to want to rotate counterclockwise. That's what we're depicting in this diagram. <clears throat> now remember, that equal and opposite reaction the engine is moving very fast and is relatively light. The aircraft itself is rolling slowly because it is comparatively heavy. That's torque. The second turning tendency in our airplane is asymmetrical thrust. Well, what does that mean? That's a pretty big word. Let's break it down. Symmetrical means even. <clears throat> balanced, symmetrical. Asymmetrical means not even, not balanced. When we talk about asymmetrical thrust, we mean an imbalanced or a not even production of thrusting force by our propeller. Well, how could that possibly happen? In level straight flight, it doesn't happen. The propeller disc produces relatively equal amounts of thrust across the disc. But you see here, when we pitch the nose of the aircraft up, as in a climb, the descending blade on the right side of that disc, Again, that's from my view in the cockpit. It's turning clockwise. That descending blade on the right side hits the relative wind such that it is making a larger angle of attack. Now, remember to our earlier discussions in aerodynamics, larger angle of attack, more lift. With this propeller, larger angle of attack, more thrust. So in our case, more thrust from the right side of this propeller disc in a climb. And that is going to want to pull the aircraft to the left. Those are our first two turning tendencies. So, quick review question for us. Let's see, how about this one? When we talk about equal and opposite reaction, with the torque rolling tendency, what is working equal and opposite? 
to each other. Well, folks, that's it for this one. See you next time.